Taylor, what's up? Hey, Billy, how's it going? Pretty good, how about yourself? Not so bad, just getting ready for practice. Solid, so I'm just here to ask you a quick 50 questions. Um, just respond with, you know, however long you want. They can be long, short responses, but yeah, let's just have a good time with it. Awesome, let's do it. All right, so uh, why did you choose Colby? Um, so for me, I chose Colby for two reasons. First, my dad went to Colby and he loved his Colby experience. So he, I always loved coming up for the reunion weekends and seeing like Mayflower Hill. And I always saw it just as a campus that I could definitely like be on and be a part of. Um, and then the other reason was is that I met Coach Sandler, who was our old lacrosse coach, and he, you know, gave me a tour of campus and talked to me. And I met a few professors, and I knew that Colby was going to be a really good fit for me, both like athletically and socially, and even more importantly, academically. So, yeah. so uh, when you're not spending your time in this really bad smelling locker room, <laughs> uh, what's your favorite part of campus? Um, Personally, I love, um, I love like, there's a few really nice study spaces around campus that you can find. There's some carols and um, the library that are really nice, but I always love it when they put up a new exhibit in the art, art museum. Uh, recently they had, um, there's this photo exhibit in there of all kinds of uh, sports photography photos, which I found really cool. So whenever I'm like super stressed, I love to go there and just kind of unwind. And after you study, what's your favorite dining hall? Oh, Foss. I think Foss is the best. They've, they've got the, when they have like, well, their like potential is much higher than any other um, dining hall. What's your favorite food? Um, not for, not, doesn't have to be the dining hall, it's just food in general. Just food in general? Uh, probably my mom's lasagna. She makes it for my birthday every year. It's wonderful. When's your birthday? Uh, my birthday is January 1st, 1996. Yeah. You want to start walking around the AC? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Absolutely. So what's your favorite song? Um, my favorite song? Uh, my favorite artist is Billy Joel, so probably my favorite song would be something by him. Maybe like We Didn't Start the Fire. Good choice. Hi, Graham. Hey, Billy. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, I'm from a little town in upstate New York called Skinny Atlas, New York. Um, it's on one of the Finger Lakes in central New York. How long is the drive to Colby from there? Uh, it's not good. It's not fun. It's like eight and a half hours. But normally I pick up one of our teammates, uh, Don Vivian in Albany, so it takes a little bit longer. But it's always nice to have company on the drive. No kidding. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I do. I've got uh, three younger siblings. I have a sister who's a senior at Hotchkiss. I've got a brother who's a sophomore at St. Paul's. And then I've got a 10-year-old baby sister uh, who lives back at home in Skinny Atlas. Dogs or cats? Oh, dogs, 100%. I'm actually allergic to cats, so really not a cat Not much guy. of a choice. Today. Yeah, not a cat guy. Uh, favorite Colby lacrosse memory? Uh, probably my favorite memory is the first time, like for the first game that I had my freshman year against Hamilton, just getting uh, to my locker that day and seeing our jerseys hung up. And then um, other great moment was last year when we beat Middlebury. It was, uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. Uh, least favorite lacrosse memory? Oh, um, definitely, definitely last year I got in, um, I had like one of the best games of my year um, against Keene State, and then after the game I went to my thumb which was taped up, and we untaped it, and it turns out that I'd broken my thumb really bad, because my thumb just like drooped down out of the tape, so that was very upsetting. <laughs> Uh, if you could play one other sport, what would it be? Uh, oh, hockey. I played hockey all the way growing up. I was, played it in boarding school. And, I mean, in, uh, in a perfect world, I think, like, if I could have played hockey and lacrosse, that would have been cool. Uh, what's one thing people wouldn't know about you? Um, one thing people wouldn't know about me. Um, oh, one of my favorite, like, fun skills that I have is I actually know how to knit which I think is like pretty cool. So when I was in high, public school, high school, I learned how to knit so that I can knit hats for jaundice babies and then send them to the hospital. So, That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, what kind of quesadillas do you get at the spa? Uh, I go buffalo chicken most of the time. That's like my guilty pleasure quesadilla. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Why did you become a CA? Um, so I became a CA because I really wanted to get myself more involved in the community. Like my freshman year was great, but I felt like I only knew like a really small portion of campus. And I thought that being a CA was the best way to try to get myself into a lot of different spheres on campus and meet a lot of different people, which it did. So I'm really happy that I got to do that. What's the best part about being a CA? Best part about being a CA um, would definitely be when, whenever somebody comes to you with a problem and you're able to help them like, 
talk through what they're going through and like help them like uh, improve on their situation and just have a better Colby experience. I also love it whenever I'm able to um, work on events that really bring the dorm together and help create a, um, you know, a happy, healthy environment within the dorms. Have you ever gone abroad? Uh, yeah, so this summer I actually I worked, I had an internship in Turkmenistan with the U.S. State Department. So, um, yeah, so I was working in the summer in Turkmenistan for the State Department, which was pretty cool. Great. What was the best class you've ever taken at Colby? Uh, so I've taken a lot of really good classes, but my favorite, like, different class that I took that wasn't like a government class or an economics class was I took History of Rock and Roll last spring um, with Professor Zelinsky. And it was just so cool because I've always loved rock and roll and then that class allowed me to actually like really study it in depth. And beyond that, she was really cool about, she wanted you for like your research projects to like study things that you were really interested in or songs that you were passionate about and kind of dive in deeper into them. So yeah, that was definitely my favorite, like kind of different class that I've taken. What about your least favorite class you've ever taken? Um... Uh, I don't know. I did not do well, and I had an economics class with Professor Finlay, and I love I love Professor Finlay, but that man pushed me very hard, and I did not do so hot in that class. Uh, what's one class that you wish you could take that you haven't taken yet? Um, ooh, that's a good question. Um. Oh, um, I definitely have been trying for three straight terms to get into extraterrestrial life, and I just literally can't get into it. So I've got two more tries at it, but definitely hoping that that works out. Uh, who's your favorite professor at Colby? Favorite professor? Ooh, there, there's so many great professors, but one of my favorites is definitely Patrice Franco. I had her for microeconomics, and then I ended up being a tutor for her, for her classes, and I think that she's wonderful both at teaching and at, like, kind of getting like real world examples into economics, so yeah. Favorite restaurant in Waterville? Uh, favorite restaurant in Waterville would probably be, I mean WAP's kind of my like late night, like guilty pleasure, but probably my favorite restaurant's Amici's. What kind of food does Amici's sell? Uh, they're Italian, they've got, they've got Italian food, so yeah. They've got a really good veal parmesan, it's, it's really good. Who or what is your inspiration? Um, my inspiration, I mean a lot of my inspiration obviously comes from my parents, they, um, just looking at both of them, they've worked so hard throughout their lives and they've been so selfless in terms of like getting me to like all of the opportunities that I want to go to and you know every time that I look at them and I see you know how kind they are to everybody and how you know selfless they are, it you know, really inspires me to try to do the same and work hard and you know try to better the people around me. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Uh, no, not really. No, I think that's weird. <laughs> what helps you get out of bed on a Monday morning? Um, so actually getting out of bed on Monday mornings is hard because I actually have an 8 a.m. class this oh, term. No. But one of the things that helps me get out of bed during the spring is definitely lacrosse. I love to, you know, I like to think that, you know, when I get up, that's the start of my day, and at the end of it, I get to play a bunch of lacrosse with my friends, so it's not so bad. What do you say we go check out the art museum? Yeah, let's do it. So uh, what was the last job you had? Uh, last job I had, um, I guess it would be over the summer working in Turkmenistan would be the last one. I'm also right now on campus, I'm working, um, I'm about to start a special project with the Dean of Students and then I'm, I'm a CA as well, so that's kind of how I get my money. <laughs> what was the last book you read? Um, the last book I read was um, this really, really cool book called All the Light We Cannot See. Um, it's kind of set, um, it takes place during um, World War II France, so it was a really good book. It's really cool. Uh, what did you do for your coot? For my coot, I did local exploration, which when I started it, I was really, I was like, oh no, local exploration, like I really wanted whitewater rafting, but it ended up being like by far one of the coolest coots. It was like, we basically just had like a cabin by a lake and we all just got to like know each other really well and we got to go canoeing and kayaking and then we also got to like go explore downtown Waterville so it was an awesome, um, awesome coot. What's your uh, favorite and least favorite part of your daily routine? Uh, my favorite part of my daily routine, I mean, probably be getting food, I'm always hungry so I love hitting up the dining halls. I normally do like three or four meals a day. Uh, my least favorite part of my daily routine would probably be, I don't know, probably getting up. <laughs>
So this is the exhibit you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Do you have a particular favorite? Yeah, well, there's a few ones that I found really cool. One of them, I came in here actually with my dad. So he was, um, he was telling me about it. A few of them, this one, he really liked, I remember, because he remembers that US Open and he was, remembers watching it, which is really cool. And then there's another really iconic photo that's further down of um, Jerry Rice's uh, catch um, oh, yeah. in the Super Bowl, which was really cool, so, yeah. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Wonderful. Or that's not Jerry Rice, but that's the... Uh, Dwight Clark. Yeah, it's Dwight Clark with the catch. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, what's the number one item on your bucket list? Number one item on my bucket list? I mean, I joke around with everybody that the number one item on my bucket list is to climb Mount Everest just because everybody tells me I can't, so I kind of I kind of <laughs> really want to do it. But, like, a more realistic, serious bucket list item would probably be... Uh, I've always I've always wanted to travel and see the Northern Lights because I've been to Finland, which I, was like so cool, but I was so upset because I didn't get to see the Northern Lights. So probably a trip to Lapland and going and seeing the Northern Lights. What was your favorite salad dressing? Favorite salad dressing? In the dining halls, they actually have a really good raspberry vinaigrette that I get quite often. So Literally. here at Colby, I'd say that. But then my dad, my dad loves making salad dressing, so um, I definitely. Love his salad dressing too. What do you uh, What do you think of this? I think it's interesting. I don't know if I could drive a pickup truck like that. But <laughs> pretty cool. What's the What's your favorite year you've had at Colby so far? Between first year, sophomore, and junior. I don't know. I'd probably say my best overall year was my sophomore year because one, I got to become a CA that year, which was really cool. So I got to meet a bunch of new people and I made a ton of new friends, which was awesome. I also loved where I was living and the people I was living with, which was great. And beyond all of that, I had like my first, this was my first lacrosse season where I actually got to play, which was really cool. And then also I just kind of see it as like, that was the year that kind of set the foundation for me in terms of like, having like a really like awesome Colby experience. Who do you dislike more, Bates or Bowden? Oh God, probably Bates right now. And the reason being because it was, we lost them really, really bad last year. So <laughs> not really feeling great about them. And um, who did you root for in the Super Bowl? Oh, I rooted for the Eagles. So my growing up, the Eagles were my second favorite team. So I love Buffalo. They're they're like kind of my local team that you got to root for. But growing up, I'm even bigger than being a Bills fan. I'm a huge Syracuse fan. I love Syracuse basketball and football and lacrosse. But so growing up, Donovan McNabb was the quarterback of the Eagles, and he's obviously a Syracuse alumni. So he was my favorite player. I dressed up for Halloween like four straight years as Donovan McNabb. So. <laughs> I was definitely happy the Eagles got to win one. Why is your hair partially gray? I don't know. It's <laughs> gonna be, I, I don't know. Well, they say it comes from your maternal grandfather and he was all white, if you wanna get a nice little, oh, yeah. little action shot of it. But he was all white hair, not just gray. He was all white by 25, so maybe that's me. The good news is, is though is that he's 85 now and he still has all of his hair, so eh, not so bad. Gray but full. Gray but full. Well, that's what you gotta hope for. All right. So you can have dinner with one person, dead or alive. Who is it? Oh no. Um, dead or alive. I mean, like I love Donovan McNabb. He comes to mind right away. But probably, I would love to have dinner with like if I was to have it with a group of people. My favorite movie ever is Miracle. So I think the team if I could ideally I'd get dinner with all of the guys like the whole team that miracle on ice USA hockey team I think that'd be so cool which NESCAC lacrosse team do you want to beat the most this season oh I want to win the CBB I want to beat Bates and Bowden but beyond that I've got I have a few friends I've got friends on Tufts Wesleyan and Hamilton and two of them against Hamilton and Wesleyan there's a chance that I'll be guarding two of my friends so if I could stick it to them as well, that'd be cool. So if we could beat everybody, that'd be great. I guess all of them. <laughs> and how are you feeling about the upcoming season? I'm feeling really good. It's been really exciting. We've, um, the team this year, this has been like the most excited I've seen a group for the Colby men's lacrosse team. And it's definitely, you know, I think like probably the best group of men that we've had, the most hardworking group of men. And I'm really excited, especially we've, we brought in a lot of freshmen this year and they've really upped the intensity level in practice. And I'm really excited for this upcoming season. I think it's going to be really, really great and we're going to be really fun to watch. So, One last question, Taylor. If you could go back in time and tell 
yourself as a first year, one thing, what would it be? Oh, I, I would tell myself one, definitely don't be afraid to branch out. Like I think definitely as a first year, a lot of people are like really nervous that they're gonna, you know, like be like that weird person who's like, you know, coming out and like doing too much or asking people to do stuff, but it's really like what you have to learn is that like kind of everybody's in that position so like you don't you just need to be like not afraid to actually branch out um and i would definitely also i tell myself like find ways to engage in the community so finding ways to like better you know not only your own colby experience but everybody else's around you because once you start doing that you really start to appreciate you know all the beauty that this school has and then the last piece of advice is like time actually flies by it's actually so scary that i'm like one semester away from being a senior so I definitely tell myself to embrace it, all the good and, and all the bad, so, yeah.